Super yeah says, hi, all. When I am trying to open new teams in MacBook, got the error. Your admin has restricted access to new teams. Already did cash clear, but won't help much and checked with the 0365 admin and no restriction from their side. Can anybody be aware of the fix? Anybody aware of the fix? So, I mean, my, I, you run into this and it is like the admin should look again. I don't know if this is a Mac specific issue because the admin can turn that capability on or off. If they say, no, it's on. It's like, I would say, prove it. Show me yeah. in your team open up teams, share your screen, and let's see if the new teams is on. Like right now, I'm in classic. I see the top left, I see the ability, I see the teams with the switch to switch it to new teams. If you don't see that in your top left, it is not turned on. Yeah. The admin is incorrect. I'd say the other thing I, I checked besides teams, which can have policies, I just ran into this, yesterday trying to set up the speaker attribution in teams it was because i had a different meeting policy which isn't a meeting policy that i had changed to allow the speaker attribution recognition to be set up so i had to troubleshoot well i'm changing the global policy why isn't it affecting my account because i had a specific policy meeting policy set up for me so that's the first thing christian is to make sure that the the policies you think or the admin thinks are applying to you, do apply to you. And then the other thing I do, I'm on a Mac right now and I'm using the new Teams, is I troubleshoot, is it the computer, my account, or something else? So if you have the ability on a Mac or to log in as you on another Mac, if the problem follows you as a user, it's probably back to the admin, something about your account. If the problem is computer specific, it might be that you've cleared the cache or you've done what you can or what you can as an admin locally, but it could be something on that computer with your, you know, your equivalent of a profile on a Mac. Um, and these are the same steps I usually do on a Windows PC is I'll see, does the problem follow me as a user, computer to computer? And then if it doesn't follow me computer to computer, I'm troubleshooting that one computer or that one Mac in this case. And if, uh, like you said, you don't have new teams in the upper left, even though the admin's saying you should, um, the web-based version might be the other thing. I know with Safari, it's still considered preview. So I have, um, I'll just, I'll say a lot of issues with teams on Safari, but uh, installing either Edge or Chrome on my MacBook or my iMac that I'm using right now has solved a lot of those issues where I can see, does the problem follow me to the web-based, which is always pulling the most current code from Microsoft, or is the Teams client maybe outdated on the Mac, those types of things. Yeah. So those are some things I do all the time. That's a great point. Uh, you know, uh, that's a, with Teams especially, um, I always do that. If I'm, I realize like I'm experiencing an issue, I will go and try it through the browser versus through the desktop app first and I, I didn't even think of that that's a great point especially on a mac try it on chrome or uh or through edge browser guys now that they finally got the browser issues fixed for the most part yeah <clears throat> i have a question i have a question um so recently did a roll like a windows rollout of which um there was one or two that had a mac for whatever reason, but they weren't going to be managed. They weren't domain joined. They weren't, um, and they were fine of being able to get in if they were going through the browser. They were fine to be able to um, uh, get in like on the old sort of environment where it didn't matter so much. But the moment everything was rolled over and they weren't part of a, you know, it was just like these standalone devices. Wouldn't the same thing happen if they go, you can't now put Office onto the desktop, we're locking it all down so you can't work externally, like it's classed as an external device, and then, then they might not be able to to do it because if it's classed as, a, as it's your own personal laptop, for example, because it's not on the domain, wouldn't it do something similar, potentially, or is it just a, a new thing? 
That's a good point. There are mobile device policies that now push down to Mac OS. Yeah. So it could be something with that, Kirsty. Where yeah, because I know that we, I mean, not that this is my space at all, but this is not something I know that happened recently on a big rollout I did. So they just went, no, nope, we're not supporting it. They won't have a Mac, their problem. They've purchased, purchased it personally, and it's got nothing to do with us. <laughs> okay, yeah. righto. This, this, is, uh, this is great stuff, because as we were talking about before we started recording too, that it's a, this is just one of those, you know, the, like the answer to the question is just is a troubleshooting activity. Like there could be a number of different things, could be contributing factors, it could be multiple things there that are causing that. And so you really just have to go through and check each one of those. Start first with, you know, has it truly been turned on or not? You know, are others able to see it? Um, is there another policy that is that's causing the same issue? Is it the, you know, the desktop application versus browser that indicates another issue the version of the the browser i mean there's this that that checklist of that like i go through so many of those things without thinking about it. it's one of the things that makes it frustrating when you are forced to then call into like microsoft support any support team not to beat up just on microsoft support but why it's just excruciatingly painful it takes so long because they've got to go run through each of these things answer that question is it this is it this is it this before they can decipher, okay, we we've narrowed it down to it's this thing, and then here's the fix. So yeah, this and is uh, while forums to you know <laughs> to fix things because there has to be a bit of back and forward, and right. they go, oh, I didn't get it quick enough, and it's like, well, it's the written word. Yeah.